One of the questions we get asked a lot at RouterCAD is can you create CNC operations or create cabinets with CNC operations without actually drawing the cabinet? And the answer to that is yes. We have a lot of customers who need have the need to get a lot of parts into production without the need of drawing those cabinets. So we have our order entry system. In this portion of the program here, you define your CNC operations for the cabinets. It can be bores, it can be blind dados, it can be Rayfix fasteners, it can be regular dado construction. You define as many different CNC operations as necessary and you can combine those all into one, one order entry system. Here I'm going to go ahead and select a base cabinet. We'll go in and select a standard base. I'm going to type in the quantity of a base cabinet. Let's just say we need five of those. Uh, we'll apply cabinet number to it. Define the width at 33 and a half inches. Specify the height, the depth. And I'm going to apply a CNC method here in commercial euro. I'm also going to select a material set. We'll make these out of white melamine. And I'm going to tell it to add that to the grid. I'm going to close this. Now we'll go to the upper uh, cabinets. I'm just going to select a standard upper. Let's also tell it we need five of these. Assign a cabinet number to it. Let's make this 33 and a half as well to match the uh, base cabinets. We'll take the default 30 inch height, 12 inch deep. And I'll also apply a commercial um, CNC method to this. And I'll assign white melamine as the materials. Then when I select the add button, now we have the grid filled up with uh, all the various cabinet parts with the correct sizing, correct material, and the correct part names uh, for all this. I'm going to select the export button here. Uh, router cam is selected as our export. I'm going to select the export button. And the AI here goes through and creates layered DXF parts with the CNC operations for the cabinets. So you can click on the various uh, DXFs that we created and, and see your results. Now I'm just going to close out of this. Uh, we'll go into router CAD into the uh, nesting portion of router CAD. Select import. I'm going to bring the router cam parts in from the AI center we just created. This is your pair gap. I'm just going to accept the default pair gap setting for the parts. This is importing all the various cabinet parts. I'm going to select nest by area. Our nesting program goes through and nests all the parts and different parts with different materials are put on various sheets according to what's defined in our material catalog. So we have the quarter inch white melamine here and then above those we have the um, the three quarter inch white melamine for all the cabinet parts. All your ends, tops, bombs, adjustable shelves. We'll go to G-Code Main and this is a preview of what we just looked at. I'm just going to close this off and we'll select display code and you actually see router cam going in creating all your g-code and doing all your line boring uh, for the various uh, sheets of material selected and that's the way you can create a uh, lot of cabinet parts without drawing one cabinet thank you very much for your time